my glam bag finally came in the mail. I feel like this time, my glam bag took forever to get to me. But nonetheless, I am glad that she's here. First of all, let's get into the bag. This is like a canvasy kind of material. It's just really soft, very pretty. And I love this little peach that's right on the end. I love this little like hardware peach. I am a little afraid that it's flimsy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do think if you pull too hard, this little sucker gonna fly right off. But it is a cute little detail. It does say Ipsy right here. And it has a really cute yellow gold zipper situation going on. One thing that I will say is that this is gonna get dirty so easily. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like I have no idea what that is or how it got on there. But my bag is already getting dirty. It's okay. We get so many of these bags that I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't really care. Let's go ahead and see what I got this month. I did do two add-ons. The first thing that I'm pulling out is one of my add-ons. Okay. And this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is so much fun. Like it's giving, what is it giving? It's giving like 20s, like, you know, like 20s kind of vibe with a hint of comic book, like comic book 20s. Like, I, I don't know how else to describe it. And I got it in the color Warm Deep Brown. I think this is my first Benefit product. And this is what the little pencil is looking like. Now this is a deluxe sample, so it's not a full size. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Is there like a cap in here that just didn't come out? This, I'm not too much of a fan of. So essentially you don't have a, sorry, my hand's like covered. I cleaned my beauty blender, but I didn't clean my hand. I don't quite like this. When you open her up, there's no lid. So you literally just like scroll it up like this and this is all you get. It's not worth the price. I'm not gonna lie for how much I paid for it. I think it was like a $3.50 add on. You don't, you just don't get that much product. Like what the fuck is that? Like really, what is that? That's that's like maybe five eyebrows, maybe like five eyebrows if you're not drawing them too big or too thick. But the other part that I don't like is that it doesn't have a top. Like, is this gonna dry out? Is it already dried out? I don't know. Not my favorite, <laughs> not my favorite. I probably won't be buying this product in the full size unless it is absolutely amazing to draw on your eyebrows. It's amazing that I might be able to look past the packaging, but I'm guessing I'll probably just stick to my tried and trues. We'll try this out later on in the video. The next item that I'm pulling out was my power pick. And this is the Dew of the Gods Amalfi Gold. And this is a heaven grade. How do you get heaven grade? Like heaven grade hair serum. And this is what the packaging is looking like. Absolutely adorable. It's giving vacay vibes. Love to see it. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. This is what the box looks like without all the little plastics on there. And it expires in 2026. So I got time. Oh, this is so adorable. This is absolutely adorable. Now look at how itty bitty and cute that is. This is like cute little squeezy tube thing. And it's pretty full. It's pretty full. It's like right up to here. Let's see what this smells like. Hopefully it smells good. Ooh, okay. That smells really good. I'm not gonna put this in my braids. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm gonna wait until I take my hair down and then I do like my little cornrows and then I'll put this in my hair and see if I like it. What is it even supposed to do? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I should read. Like, what is this supposed to do? Uh, it says formulated with the highest quality olive and argan oils to provide your hair with a natural shine, deep texture and protection from mechanical heat and summer sun. Okay, so. Eh. I mean, it's just cool to have. I, I've been trying to do more like hair serums and things like that. So I just want to give this a try and see if I like it. If it comes up as part of the boxy charm choices again, if I like it, I'll get the big size because they had it as a choice last month, I want to say last month for the big full size. I did not get it. But if it comes back and I like it, then I'll pick it that time. The next item is my other add-on and this is the Ciate London Extraordinary BB Cream. It's the idiot of bittiest little squeezy tubes. I knew it was gonna be a deluxe sample, but I didn't think it was gonna be this itty bitty. I don't think you need that much product for a BB cream. I don't think you're supposed to use that much product. Hopefully I got the right color. I think they say for BB creams and things like that, they're sheer. Like it's supposed to give you more leeway when it comes to the shade match. So hopefully it works. We'll see. This is what it looks like with all the little plastics off of her. Let's see how she looks on my skin. I'm just put the slightest little dupe and then rub that in. See what we're working with. This will be the 
first BB cream that I've ever used in my entire life. So I'm excited to try it out. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That is like a perfect, perfect match. It smells like regular like makeup stuff. So. But I'm excited to try that out today. It seems like it'll be a perfect match. I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So we're gonna try our best to hide it. We'll see how that works. But the next item that I received was the Elizabeth Mott. I've never heard of this brand. Elizabeth Mott Sure Thing Vitamin C Cleanser. And it, so it, and it says it's supposed to remove makeup. And this is what it looks like. I can't tell how much is in here, but it doesn't seem too full. Got a nice little safety seal. You know, your girl loves a good safety, safety seal. I'm guessing this is gonna smell like oranges. You know, this is a wild guess. This doesn't have much product in it because you see how much I'm squeezing and nothing has come out yet. So this doesn't really have much of anything in it. Like half of it is just for show. I'm just now getting product to come out of the top. Yeah, it smells like oranges, which is cool. I mean, it's, it's just a cleanser. They didn't really give us that much product. This much is just for show. We'll try it in a super extra nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm doing anyways, because I'll be filming. We'll try this out in one of those videos, but Eh. The next thing that I'm pulling out is a full size product. I actually received three full sizes in my glam bag this time around, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. This one is by Pixie by Petra, and this is the CC Color Correction Pen Crayon. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I love Pixie packaging. I think it's just so pretty and girly, just with the green. I love this green, so much fun. Very fun, very light, very girly. Just all the things I enjoy. And this is what the product is looking like when you pull her out. It has like a little sharpener right here, which I didn't know a lot of these products come with little mini sharpeners. I had no idea. Oh, okay. So those sharpeners are for like cream products like this. Let's see how much we get. Ooh, okay. That's a lot. That's actually a lot. So I will be using this to try to color correct and see if I can get rid of the dark spots underneath the BB cream, but we'll see. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. It blended very beautifully. Like you saw how that just like kind of disappeared. It was like magic. I mean, I think it'll work. We'll know for sure in the try on. The next item that I'm pulling out is a pencil and this is by Scone and it is the Lux Lip Liner in Mudslide. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a really nice deep color cause the deeper colors really help when you have a lighter lipstick when you're black girl or brown girl. It just helps the colors blend a little bit better when you have like a really light lip. You know, that's just an old school hack. I didn't come up with that. I've been seeing that for years. This is what the little pencil is looking like. I'm gonna use a little hack that I got from Yari. Just kind of twist this and that helps you get the plastic off. This is what it looks like with all the plastics off. Oh, I didn't give that little cute popping sound. This is what the pencil looks like. Let's just kind of, okay, that's nice. I can definitely use that. It's a nice deep, deep color. It's gonna work beautifully with different lighter lipsticks to kind of make a gradient. It went on not the creamiest, but it wasn't super stiff either, like somewhere in between. And the last item is another one of my power picks, the one that Ipsy chose for me. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Lift. And this is what it looks like. Apparently this is full size as well. Now here's the thing though. I don't use brow gels. <laughs> I just, I don't. I barely have any eyebrows. So what am I gelling? Nothing. Cause there's nothing to gel. I don't really have any eyebrows. This is gonna get put to the side for a future giveaway. I'm not gonna open it. It has a nice safety seal over it, like a safety plastic. This will be in a future giveaway. It's a good reason to have the product just so I can give it to somebody else. That was everything in my, I was gonna say mystery Ipsy, but this wasn't a mystery. That was everything in my April Ipsy glam bag. This month, they actually gave us a piece of paper that is beneficial to our bag. <laughs> you know, this is hit or miss. Sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes they don't put anything in there. Sometimes they give you something that doesn't really tell you anything about your particular bag. This month, they actually gave us paper that tells us about our specific bag. The Elizabeth Mott 
Vitamin C Cleanser. This is a deluxe size. The full version is $17. Okay, it's gonna cost you $17 for the full size. This is 15 mil, and the full size is 150 mil. I'm not gonna do the math. You can do the math yourself, but this isn't really worth that much based on my observations. The next thing is the Billion Dollar Brows Billion Dollar Brow Lift. This product is full size, like I said, and it retails at $22. It's a little expensive. The next item is the Dew of the Gods. Did I say that earlier? I don't know if I said Dew of the Gods earlier. It feels like this is the first time Dew of the Gods has left my mouth. Next item that I'm pulling out was my power pick, and this is the Dew of the Gods Amalfi Gold. I don't know. This is the Dew of the Gods, and this is a deluxe sample. The full size is worth $30, and this one doesn't say how many milliliters you get. Maybe it says it on the box. Okay, 10 milliliters for this little itty bitty thing. The big one is 30 milliliters, so $10. Bruh, this is $10. Wouldn't be me. No, no, absolutely not. Moving on, the Pixie Beauty CC Crayon in Buy Under Eye. That's the name of it, Buy Under Eye. This is full size and it is gonna retail at $11. $11 for the CC Eye Cream. Wait, not eye cream. CC eye pencil, eye pencil for the CCs. And the final thing outside of my add-ons was the Scone Cosmetics Luxe Lip Liner in Mudslide. This is full size, obviously, and it's gonna retail at $18. So I think I made out like a bandit. I think I made out like a bandit this time. Cause I got three full size items, $56. Just with the full size items, it's $56. And then whatever, you know, the 56 and then the 10, 66. And then I don't know how much this is worth. So I, I got a pretty good value in my bag. Now, whether or not I like these products, we'll find out. Uh, we're gonna find out right now, actually. I have a lot of different things to try on today. Not everything is gonna be from the Ipsy bag. Some of these things I've gotten throughout the month. The first thing I'm gonna try is this P. Louise Smooth It Over and Airbrush It Out Pink Primer. And this is what it looks like. She's, she's very, very pinky and she dupes out like that. So we're gonna give this primer a chance and see if we like her. Yeah, I wasn't too big of a fan of the P. Louise for this month. I'm so sick of lip oils. Like, even though they only gave us one, I know for a fact we're getting another lip oil next month. At least it's not like the set of three that we got the first two months of the year. What can you do? You sign up for the box and you get what you get. I'm just glad that the box I got had the skin tone that works for me. I'm gonna go in with this Pixie color corrector. I know it says for under your eyes, but I'm gonna try to use it over these dark spots on my face. We're using a BB cream today. That's not gonna give you the best coverage. Let's be serious. Let's see. Mm. I have so much, like I might as well just color are all over my face because I am chock full of hyperpigmentations. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. And I mean, it says it goes under your eyes as well. I guess I'll just kind of use it there too. Uh, we've been pixied by Petra. And I think I could just like kind of blend this out like that. I think that's what you do. I haven't color corrected in so long. I usually just let my my colors just show right on through. Y'all know I'm hyperpigmented. Uh, if you don't like it, complain to your mammy. Don't complain to me. I'm not over here trying to pretend like I don't have hyperpigmentation. It is what it is. For the next step, I'm gonna use the Ciate London BB Cream. And I don't think I told you the color I got. What color is this? Does it even say? Um, It doesn't say what color it is, but I will put a little thing right here telling you what color I got. I'm just gonna do like the Instagram people. People. You know what I'm saying? We love a good Instagram moment. Now, I don't know how much BB cream you're supposed to use. Do I just rub it all in? I don't know. Like I said, I've never used anything like this before. I think I'll just rub it in first and then pat it in with my beauty blender. Well, my beauty sponge. This is actually giving me a lot more coverage than I thought it would. I think I've done as much as I can with my fingers. So I'm gonna just kind of blend this out with my little beauty sponge. All right, how's the complexion looking? It actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And it barely feels like I have any makeup on my face, which I think is the point. I I really like this. Now I did get another like skin tint and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, that deodorant stick looking thing. I got that through 
flip. And I, obviously I'm not gonna try that out yet until my full flip order comes in and then I'll, you know, test all these products out. But I am excited to see what that looks like because this looks really good. And part of me is sad that it's so itty bitty. I would like to have the full size of this, which I mean, I can always purchase the full size. I mean, it's not like I'm banned from buying the full size. I can buy the full size. For concealer, I am gonna go in with my She Glam. This is tried and true. Honestly, I don't really think I need that much. Like, I'm just gonna put like the ittiest of bittiest. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't need a whole lot. For my contour, I'm gonna just go in with my tried and true, my pink lips. Y'all already know, I still have so much left of her, which is phenomenal. Now I just gotta blend all this in. I'm gonna let it dry down just a little bit. I wanna get one of those little fans. So I could just go, Shh. I'm gonna get one of those little fans. I'll probably order it off a of flip just so I can review it and make money off of my review. Like, duh, why not? I guess I kind of understand the ergonomics of a sponge that's shaped like this. It does feel a little bit easier to kind of maneuver. I'm not gonna lie, my complexion is looking really good today. Maybe it's just the glasses not being on my eyes, so I can't really see if there's a hot mess ensuing. But from right here, that looks really, really good. I am shooketh. I really like this. Okay, okay. For another new new, and this is the Kosas setting powder. Okay, it doesn't say on here, but it's like a like a medium kind of color, just like a medium kind of color. I'm gonna use this to set my face. I love this brush. This is literally one of my favorite products that I've gotten off of Flip, and hopefully it works really well with this powder. I usually put my powder on with a little powder puff, but... I feel like for something like this, you put it on with a brush. That looks really good. I think this powder works really, really good with this BB cream. I think this looks really nice. I'm matte, but not too matte. This is a win. I like this setting powder. I do want to see how it looks over a full blown foundation like my Fenty. As far as like working over my other stuff going on, it is going on beautifully. Now for an, oh snap, bruh. Okay, I should put this on before I did my powder. Oh well, we're just, we're, we're gonna just make it work. We're just gonna make it work. Now I did receive my Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a cream bronzer, but we're gonna just hope that it doesn't jack up because the powder over the cream and just, we're gonna just, we're gonna just hope for the best. Put a little bit on my, on this bowl. This might not be the right brush for something like this. I mean, it's working. I definitely have like a bronzing kind of going on. It's just not as powerful as I would usually wear my bronzer, but maybe that's better for, oh, okay, now I see it. Now I see it. I think this is nice. I just have to put it on in the correct order next time. And probably with a thicker brush, not thicker, but denser brush. This is a little too loosey goosey. It went on beautifully. We still winning. Okay, we still winning. I might set the bronzer with another bronzer just so that it kind of, you know, goes back into the skin and it doesn't break up on me. We're gonna use the P. Louise Dream A Little Dream Chuck Full of Ambition Face Palette. I am gonna dip into this bronzer right here just, just a little bit. Okay, that's it. That's all. I don't wanna look cray cray. I don't wanna look like that dang blasted challenge I just did. I'm gonna go into one of these blushes. Now this is more of like a blush lighter. I don't know if I wanna go for this kind of darker blush moment. So I am gonna dip into this peach. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This peach goes so beautifully with the rest of my complexion. Oh yeah, I love that. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I look cute today. I might have to tell Justin to take me somewhere. I don't know where, somewhere, anywhere. We can go to Target. Okay, we can go to Target. I do want to use the highlighter that is in this palette. I'm going to just kind of dip into her and then just go ever so lightly. That's pretty. That's pretty. Put a little bit on my nose and then blend that in. Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. With my glasses off. Yes. I think this looks so good. I think these products are all working so beautifully and they're working really well with the products I already love. The next product that we're going to get into is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. <sighs> which I'm gonna need y'all to come a little closer. Okay, come on in. Let's see what she is working with. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. Like they're thin, but they do like grow out very sporadically. So I need to call my eyebrow lady. 
have her touch them up. I mean, this works really nicely. I'm not gonna lie, but I do have other eyebrow products that work just as good and they come with something to really like seal off the top. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is something I'm gonna go out of my way to go buy. It feels like one eyebrow is just like really high up and the other one is like really low. What the hell did I do to my face? See, this is what happens when you don't get your eyebrows done. You're left to your own devices to figure out where your eyebrows go. I think that's a little better. What's next is the eyes. Okay, we gotta do a little sum sum to the eyes. And today I'm gonna use my LYF. I did get this in a mystery Ipsy, one of my mystery Ipsies. I don't think I've used her on the channel, but I have used her. This is what she looks like, very cute. We're gonna do something real simple today. We're not going overboard. So I'm gonna dip into this color right here for my transition. As you can see, very pigmented. So far I like LYS products. I did order some uh, LYS products in the Ipsy Shopper. So when that comes in, I will let you guys know how I like her. I wanna say I got a lippy. I almost wanted to get that primer too. I lean more towards wanting to buy it on Flip just so I can review it and earn money in the process. I mean, right now I'm not making a ton of money. Like I'm not, you know, rolling in the dough. I can't quit my day job, but it is nice to start building up a platform on there so that hopefully in the future, I will be able to quit my job and just make content creation my full blown source of income. And I just pointed to this color because this is what I'm putting in my outer V slash crease. I'm gonna just kind of fix this. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of fix this off it a little bit. For underneath my eye, I'm just gonna go back into this shade right here. I was gonna do something a little more funky fresh, but I don't want to. I wanna keep this look relatively chill. For my shimmer shade, I'm gonna stick to this goldy, gold, oh, you see all the shoes. I can stick to this goldy color right here. Shimmer is going on absolutely beautifully, if I do say so myself. That's the real test. If your shimmers go on really beautifully with a brush, then you know your shimmers are that girl. I'm just gonna lightly dip into that darker shade, blend that in just a little bit with the fluffy brush. I think that's so pretty. Now I am gonna do something a little funky fresh. Okay, just a little funky, funky fresh. I'm actually gonna go back, actually, I'm gonna go back into my Dream A Little Dream palette and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. That's one thing that I really love about makeup is that you can use things for multiple things, right? Like you don't have to just use the face palette for your complexion. You can use your eye palette on your face. It's just, it's so just versatile. You can do pretty much anything. To fill in my tight line, I think that's what it is. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild in, what is this, black? Blackest black, okay, just not, not black, just blackest of black. And I'm just gonna kind of lift this up right here and draw into my eye line. Okay, that just adds so much drama. Keep the drama in the makeup and get rid of other dramas. Only thing is it makes me cry. I'm going to use the Defiance Beauty eyeliner that we got in one of our boxy charms, I think. I don't know. I just know I got this and it's pretty nice. Let's do the jacked up eye first. I always jack this side up. Now for the good side, which I jack the good side up too sometimes. One of these days, I'm gonna have to try to do like the little inner corner eye line that the girlies be doing. I just don't think I'm at the level yet, okay? I haven't reached that level as of yet, but hopefully I'll be there one day. One day, not today, but one day. I'm gonna need you to back up just a little bit, okay? Social distancing. And I'm gonna spray this Ready, Set, Shine setting spray by P. Louise. Uh, this is the one with the nasty color. When I was going back and editing the video, it didn't look nearly as nasty on camera as it does in person. Like in person, this just looks like dirty water. But I am gonna use a setting spray just to see, maybe we like her. Maybe we just don't like how she looks in the package, but maybe she looks good on the skin when she spray her out. So I'm gonna use it and see, see, see what she work with. I don't like the smell. It definitely add like a sheen to the skin. Like I can see it. Looks okay to me. I don't think I put too much bronzer on this side. But this side looks good. Now we're gonna try another new new. And this is the Lash Idol by Lacombe. We're gonna see if this is better. I love that sound. 
We're gonna see if this is better than all these MAC products that we've been using. Now, this has like a curved wand, like curved up like that. So I'm guessing you use it like that. I don't know. Definitely doing something. Already better than that She Glam foolishness that we have. But is it better than the MAC stack or the MAC magic extension? I don't know. Definitely doing something to my lashes though. I can, I can tell. Y'all, Justin and I have been watching, what's that show? What's that show we've been watching? Blacklist. Blacklist. We've been watching Blacklist and that show is so good. Oh my God. I've been missing out this whole time because I heard about the show, okay? I heard about it when it first aired. I remember seeing the little commercials, you know, back when people had cable television. I remember seeing the commercials for it and it was just like, eh, it looks boring because like, you know, the guy, the face of the show, he just doesn't look entertaining to me. But having seen the show, oh, he's hilarious. That show is so good. I don't want to give any of it away, so I'm not going to discuss any of the plot. It's on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, just start it. Just start watching it. After you finish Blood and Water, go ahead and hit a blacklist because it's so good. I do like this mascara. It's made my eyelashes look pretty good. I'm a little scared to use it on the bottom though. Yeah, I'm a little too afraid. So I'm going to just do what I did to that side, this side. The only last thing that I'm comfortable using on my lower lashes is that ZC because it's so itty bitty and tiny. I think this looks really freaking good. Now we have two more new news to try out. And the first one is the lip liner, which is by Scone Lux Lip Liner and it's in Mudslide. Oh, and if you're wondering what's on my lips, it is the P. Louise lip oil from the first set of lip oils that we got. I don't know what shade, cause they sheer out. They really don't have much of a color, but it's one of those lip oils. I just like to put it over my lips just so my lips are a little bit moisturized before I do any videos. I either put on that lip oil or I put on my Cobb Cosmetics lip oil. I did order more Cobb Cosmetics lip oils, but these ones are tinted. So I'm very excited to try those out. This isn't nearly as creamy as my MAC in cork or that lippy pencil that I got from ColourPop. I couldn't think of the word ColourPop. Yeah, it, it, when it comes on, it's not like terrible. Like I'm not digging into my skin, but I would prefer if this was a little bit creamier. The color though is really nice. I love this color. It's just as beautiful as my MAC. So I am going to look forward to using this in the future. And the final new new, okay? The final new new is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe beige. This very, very beautiful satin lipstick that I got in my boxy charm. It smells so good. It smells sweet. It smells like candy. Ooh, this a look. All right, let me back you up a little bit so you can see it all in its glory. This is the final look. If I do say so myself, it looks good. The complexion is on point. I'm gonna give me the full size. If this isn't too expensive, I'm gonna get the full size. They might have this on Flip. So I'm gonna look for this on Flip before I look for it on Ipsy. You know, so I can make a little coin reviewing it. Uh, Justin is taking me out to dinner. I don't know where, but he will be taking me out to dinner because I look too good to keep in the house. I didn't really have any products that I was just like, uh, I don't want to use. I wasn't disappointed by any of the products. I think these were really good. I'm loving it. Okay, ba da ba ba ba. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Also, let me know if you got a different bag, what y'all got in y'all bag. I'm nosy, okay? I want to know. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fey Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.